Okay, folks, kind of a pretty exciting day today, not going to lie, the day of my first kind of sponsor. So, um, as you guys may know, I created a Facebook account um, and a Twitter account, all these different accounts to try to, like, kind of reach out um, and, like, gain more of an audience on there. That way I could gain more of an audience on YouTube, kind of. So some lady reached out to me after I commented on her post of wanting to send me some bait. So um, all I had to pay was shipping, so it's kind of... Like a kind of like a sponsorship type thing, and so I fished with these baits today, um, and this is you guys are kind of seeing some of like the B-roll and the footage and stuff that I got of it, um, and we're just gonna be kind of doing a review. So we got five baits here. There's like a there's three or there's actually four kind of like fluke t uh, things. Two white, one kind of like that chartreuse and white fl uh, like pepper flake, and then another one kind of like a I don't even know like watermelon red and then like clear shad color, and then we also got like this pink uh, punching bait. So the actual, the cool thing about these is they actually uh, have glow sticks inside of the mold. So um, you can crack them, there's glow sticks inside of the bait when you do it. Um, quite honestly, my biggest concern with these baits, uh, and I fished with these today, so I kind of have more of like a uh, experienced kind of answer. So first thing, there's a lot of like extra little bits around the thing. You can see it's not like a defined shape and I really do love like the ridge body on this side. My only problem is it's completely flat on this side. So that's probably just how the mold works. But that is kind of my problem with this. If like, it's great if you're fit, if this fish is this side, but this side, it's kind of bad. Also, um, again, I fished with this bait a little bit and the glow stick, it just comes right out. The, this plastics uh, is not strong enough to hold the glow stick in, but it is really cool that you're able to fit these tiny little glow sticks in there. Um, and then, with the fluke part, it's kind of, it, it just kind of looks like a gummy worm. There's, or a gummy like fish. There's no actual like texture to the fish. It's just four flat sides, uh, actually just three flat sides on most of the body. And that's just kind of, I, it just doesn't work for me too well. At least when I'm like looking at it, if I was a fish, I want to see like that texture, that lifelikeness, because that's the whole goal of to imitate something that is alive. Also, there's a couple extra like little bits on there. Not this hair, that's just me. Um, but like this little extra bits on there, which isn't a big deal. Again, like it's not, it's not really going to affect it too much. Then moving on, it's kind of like the durability. I guess we can kind of add that into the last one, but these are definitely one fish baits. And I, what I mean by that is you can catch one, maybe two fish off the same bait. But as soon as I caught my first fish, that was the inside. The glow stick was completely gone. Uh, my bait was starting to tear. It's very like sectional. Honestly, like this was the second fish. It's actually still kind of glowing uh, from when I went just fished with it. This one I did catch a fish on. Um, so as far as like holding up goes, I I don't know. It's it's not uh, phenomenal. I'd probably give it a four out of ten. Uh, um, as far as casting, these things cast phenomenally. Like like great. I'd probably get out and give it like a nine out of, or probably even like a ten out of ten. Like I could, couldn't really ask for anything else cast super smoothly. Uh, but then moving on to my absolute biggest critique, and I'm actually gonna grab a hook for this one to show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, so we've got the new Guggen Squad um, dart and toad hook, and we're not actually gonna use the little screw on top of there because uh, the bait, it, like the texture of it, I tried using it and it kind of just ruins it. But even if you were to do it kind of like the traditional fluke way of doing that, and then you're gonna wanna put it up through the fluke again, right? But turns out you can't because the glow stick is actually in the way. When you want to rig up the bait, there's no way to go really around the glow stick unless you want to end up putting it like on the outside of the bait like that. So you end up having to rig it up on the outside of the bait, which really inhibits that action. So that is my biggest critique, but this guy is pretty much done as well. He's kind of starting to separate. I think with the person uh, who made these baits, which I will definitely plug them because um, they are kind of my sponsor. They just told me to give an honest review um, and that's what I'm really trying to give here. And like, don't get me wrong, these baits definitely caught fish. You guys can see that. So like, it's not something, all these ratings or whatever are not something that would completely inhibit the ability. And obviously the fish still thought these fish were, uh, these baits were good enough to like eat. Um, and actually I even had bluegill attacking this one when I was fishing that around before I caught my second fish. I had so many bigger bluegill attacking this. I am actually kind of in love with this color. If I had a bunch of like the non glow stick ones, um, even like other different types of baits and stuff that were in this color, I definitely throw this quite a bit because that really just imitates that green like sunfish type color. Overall, I'm kind of neutral on these baits. They definitely caught me fish. Um, so obviously the creator's doing something right. I honestly, I don't know how to say this. It's either Primu or Pri I, I'm pretty sure it's Primu. Um, 
or Primu, I don't know. It's something French, I think. Forgive me if I'm not, if I'm saying that wrong. I think so their Facebook will be in the description. That's how uh, I really got reached out to on this. Um, and then I think they have also an Instagram and that will be as well linked in the description. Overall, again, kind of neutral on these baits, but this video would not be possible without Prime, Primo, Primu, Primux, Prime baits. Um, make sure to go check them out. I think they're relatively cheap baits because they're obviously handmade. Um, if you guys want a pack, I definitely recommend picking them up. At least give them a shot. Um, what could go wrong? Like at least find if they just work perfectly for your ponds. And again, I caught every fish that I saw today. I saw those two fish and I caught those two fish. So as far as the fish thinking, like the fish is rating, I think they'd give them at least a nine out of 10. So thank you so much to our sponsor. Um, I hope to be working with them in the future. Maybe if they branch out a little bit, maybe if they don't have like some glow stick ones and they definitely, <clears throat> if they improve, I will definitely um, probably use their baits in the future. So thank you guys for watching this video and we'll see you next time.